Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on WorldGuard. So I covered WorldEdit a few weeks ago, which is a fantastic plugin, and WorldGuard is sort of a feature that adds on to it. It adds protection, you can add regions that have different features such as disallowing PvP, no mob spawning, adding protection, all of that good stuff, plus much much more. So I'm going to go through all of it in this video. Now, first of all, we need to actually select an area to be our region, which we can edit. So I'm going to go with this uh, red rectangle here I made. So if we select one corner and another corner with a wooden axe, you can get this by doing full size, full size wand. Obviously, make sure you do have World Edit and World Guard in your plugins folder, or it won't work. And what we can do, we can do region define followed by a name such as test or TST as I uh, did it. As you can see this is only our region. It is one block high so if we right click with a just a leather we can uh, see information about it. So can we build? No. And what regions are here? It's just TST. So if you want to make it higher than that you can either select it um, using other blocks so we could right click this. This would make the region four blocks high or you can do a command such as four slash four slash expand by an amount such as five and up. You can also do the reverse amount which would be obviously the other way but we're going to set that to zero so it has been expanded five upwards. And uh, you can also do expand vert which expands it all the way from bedrock to the skybox and then you can just do re region define and call it whatever you want TST2 like that. So that's how you create a region very very straightforward we are going to fly over here and look at these two regions I created so I did something very cool with these you can see this is called mob n which is short for mob no and this one is mob yes so if I spawn a pig here it will spawn if I go into mob no it won't so what I've done here is created two overlapping regions one with a higher priority than the other so all of these flags will override the larger region so this is really cool you can do so many different things with flags that we are going to get into right now so I'm going to use this region um, just as the test one and we are going to create a brand new one so region it's going to be called region PVP so let's go ahead and add some flags to region PVP so if you do region flag followed by the uh, region name so PVP and then just random text it will show you all of the different flags there are loads of them all of these so if we have a look at the most important ones you can um, add farewell messages you can add greeting messages you can stop explosions stop fire spread water flow all of that good stuff build um, chest entry mob damage mob spawning so many different things but we are going to go with PVP and whether we want to allow it or deny it. So uh, most of these flags it's either allow or deny. So if we go in here, if my other account was on and I tried to punch him, it would not work because PvP is uh, off. If we went outside the region, obviously it would. So um, that's how you add a flag. Let's add a couple more. Um, so if we do region flag for TST2, which is the one to the skybox, um, we are going to add a, a nice greeting. You can use color codes for this. So, hello, uh, player, like that. And if we walk in here, we will get a message. So this is really awesome. You could add it to your spawn or a PvP arena or something. And you can obviously add a farewell message as well. So you could add a prefix if you wanted to. So a cool way of doing that is adding brackets, I don't know, server craft, something random and seven. So let me just add some color codes, make it look really nice. Uh, let's make this gold and add a message on the end. So goodbye like this. So obviously when we go into the region, we will have the message hello player. And when we leave, it will say server craft in brackets goodbye, which looks really nice. You could obviously edit that whatever you wanted. So that is how you edit regions and add flags to them. You can also add uh, members and owners. So region add owner to the region, I don't know, TST2, and then the player's name. So Kyoshima V is my other account. 
but obviously he is not on at the moment but luckily he is stored in the database as he uh, he joined earlier you can also do the same by adding members so add member and then just do a random name I don't think this will work because this account doesn't exist there we go he hasn't joined the server so uh, obviously he cannot be added but if he had he would be now if you want to um, add a flag to the whole world there is a special way of doing that so if you do region flag underscore underscore global underscore underscore then you can add maybe I don't know PvP deny and that will affect the whole world which is pretty cool so you could also turn off mob spawning by doing mob spawning deny like that and that will get rid of it in the whole world we can obviously allow it again if we want to so if you want to have information about a particular region you can do region info and then the name such as uh, what was it called TST2 it will tell you the owners the members the flags obviously the name and the bounds which is really awesome so um, that's pretty cool you can see it has one two flags and if we look at my mob regions that I made earlier mob yes um, you can see this is the flag mob spawning allow and mob no obviously has mob spawning deny so I'm going to show you how to do region priority now what we're going to do we're going to create two regions so the red region is going to have no PvP so let's expand this to the skybox let's define it as um, PvP no and do the same for the blue rectangle which is going to be PvP yes so that's going to be expand uh, and PvP yes so we have two different regions here let's go ahead and add flags to both of them so region flag PvP no is obviously going to have PvP deny and PvP yes is going to have PvP allowed so this will not work at the moment because the two overlapping regions um, they don't know who has priority it's like if you come up to a crossroads uh, obviously you give priority to the right I think yes it is the right um, I should know that <laughs> but yes we need to add priority to these regions so if we do region priority we can uh, set the ID so PvP yes is going to have priority over PvP no so obviously the higher number the more the priority so you can have it from 0 to 100 so let's set this to 100 and PvP no to 20 so that means if players are standing in this region which has a low priority and try to hit each other it will not work if they come into here and try and hit each other this has the highest priority of all the regions here um, and it will uh, override so if you had three regions in here that all said PvP no but you had PvP yes with priority 100 that will override all of the other three so as you can see if you get a leather um, just a leather item out and right click around it tells you information so it says whether regions are defined here it lists them all and whether you can build or not so that's a really cool feature that you can have so um, let's see what else there is so we have covered most of the important things um, as you can see that still works there are a few neat commands such as the force stack command and if you look to my inventory now you can see all of the things are neatly stacked uh, which is a really cool feature if you just like your inventory looking nice so you could mess it out up a bit and then do the four touch stack you can do four touch slay which obviously kills a player like that that was a good example uh, you can do four slash stop fire so let's uh, show this pretty quickly where is there it is so if we grab some flint and steel here it is and set fire to this maybe if someone was griefing your house or there was a random fire you can do four slash stop fire which stops fire spread if you've ever set fire to your wooden house accidentally you'll know that every time you punch out the fire uh, it just keeps on spreading and you you destroy like half of your house if not all of it so this is a good way of stopping that from happening and then you can obviously do allow fire to um, re-allow fire spread you can do stop lag which um, stops all intensive server activity and you can allow that again by doing stop lag hyphen C which is uh, a bit strange but obviously that's the way it works 
So the final thing in game that I need to cover is chest protection. You may think you need a plugin like Locket to protect your chest, however you can just use the in-game uh, protection that Worldguard has. So what we're going to do is show you how to do it. You need to dig a hole below where your chest is going to be, pop down the sign and put square bracket lock square bracket on the top line and on the second line pop your name, there it is, and on the third and fourth you can add other people uh, who you want to access the chest as well. So it says a chest or a double chest above is now protected. So you can do shift and right click and that will pop down the chest. You can obviously make it a double chest and you can store all of your goodies in here. Now over here my other account has uh, put down the sign. If we hop down the hole you can see it says lock and my other account's name. So I'm going to de -op myself and show you what happens when you try to open someone else's chest. So as you can see in chat we get up a message that says this chest is protected and if we right click it does not open and there is a really nice particle effect of smoke that pops up ab above it. So that is a very very awesome feature. And you can also do WG reload to reload the config file. So that's where we're heading now you can see um, there are lots of things you can um, restrict and permit in there so let's go have a look at that now. So here we are in the plugins folder and as you can see I am using a snapshot version of WorldGuard. I was using quite an old build previously however I had some issues with it, flags weren't really working too well so I downloaded this from the website, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can get the latest version so hopefully it works well for you as well. Saying that let's go into the WorldGuard folder and have a look what we have here. So let's just go into the config.yml, this is the global config file so it will affect all worlds. As you can see there are loads of different things you can edit uh, such as fire, mobs, player, chest protection, crops, weather, blah blah blah, all of that. So what can we do? Well you can change the wand ID. Um, I don't know why you would want to change it, maybe you could change it to a sponge block which you can only get in creative mode. The max claim volume is 30,000 so if you don't want players uh, claiming the whole world you can lower this to maybe a thousand even though that's very low, or 50,000, that's probably too high. You can say how many uh, regions a player can get maximum. Obviously that doesn't apply to ops, but um, yeah, you can change that. If we scroll down, we can edit all the things about um, this. So whether creepers do block damage, whether explosions happen, whether it destroys item frames, this is very useful. So obviously you don't want paintings and item frames uh, to be destroyed so you could um, allow that which is very good you can disable various damages here that affect the player as you saw a few minutes ago I showed you chest protection make sure you have this enabled um, for that to work crops so this is a fantastic uh, feature of this plugin I know there are other plugins that do this but obviously if world guard has it uh, you already have this feature so you can obviously disable people from trampling on your crops and destroying them and you can obviously stop mobs from doing that as well. Weather, this is also very useful so you can disable various weather if you just want it uh, sunny all day you can have that you can disable thunderstorms, lightning and obviously disable powered creepers although that's quite rare to happen legit. <clears throat> Excuse me and you can disable various um, dynamics such as snow melting, leaf decay, um, I'd personally leave that off because um, obviously you don't want leaves floating all around your world, you want them to decay and uh, various things like that. So that is really awesome. You can disable some physics so you can stop gravel and sand from falling which is really cool. You can allow portals to be placed anywhere and stuff like that. So overall WorldGuard is a fantastic plugin. It's got so many different features, you can add people to regions, you can change all the flags, you can add greeting messages, so many different things. I hope this video has helped, subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.